set up. It just, it just will, especially when it comes to drivers and stuff like that. And it does overheat. Um, one other cool thing I've been, I, I hinted this in a, a video recently is that the Kali Linux tablet I made, um, again, another Raspberry Pi five. Um, the only problem with this, again, it's so impractical. Um, let me just log into it real quick. So it, it's touchscreen and I'm gonna have a hard time showing you this, but let me put you guys down for a second. So it's touchscreen. Um, right now, if you turn it over, I have a network adapter on it. Um, is your Raspberry Pi 5 on the monitor. Uh, it's a screen that has touchscreen built into it too. Everything's plugged into here. And you could do pen testing on it. Again, it, it's, it's cool, but this is not practical. I'm currently plugged in. I don't have a battery that's powerful enough to support all this stuff. Um, and you, gotta, you need something to power the screen. The Raspberry Pi 5 is not strong enough to power this screen in particular. But it is a pretty cool looking gadget here. And it is touchscreen. I have stuff already installed on it. If I want to do Wi-Fi pen testing, which I've been doing with this thing, um, I, I do need a keyboard attached to it to just hit inputs, enter inputs, and the type things in. So again, not practical. You're still tied down to a desk, but it does work. And it's something that's kind of cool. Like, it was just a fun project. Originally, I was trying to make like a Wi-Fi pineapple.